there is a big glob of sunshine back here and I will not be uh, moving to get away from that. So the sun is shining. So is Amanda. Oh yes. Maybe I'll just film like this. I'm here. I can't see. Hold on. I'm here with my purchases from Black Friday. I am not doing a collective haul. I'm just going to do the swatch videos because I'm getting really good at swatching things as soon as they come in so I can post the video. I mean, it only took like 13 years, but it's fine. This is from Forget Me Not Lacquer. I um, just realized that I filmed this video and I put the wrong polishes back there. So if you are looking at the video and you're like, what is this? I, yeah, I'm dumb. This is what her label looks like. It's really cute. Sorry, Agata. I'm a failure. This is my first experience with the brand. Agata is a longtime uh, like follower, subscriber, commenter. She's so supportive. She has the best like cream and topper combinations on her Instagram account. So I'll have her Instagram account and then also the, of course, the website that for the brand that she started uh, linked in the description box, of course. Um, but I just knew that these were going to be good because she is like a topper queen. She's so good at combinations. Uh, she recently launched her brand Forget Me Not Lacquer and I think they were I think she was doing 20% off and I was like, you know what? Yes, cuz I I kind of wanted to wait until there were a few releases so I could just like get a group of polishes that I wanted at once and that's what I did. Um I purchased five polishes. I think some are from her like holiday release and then others are just I think one is from a fall release, but they're all toppers and they're all really fun. Let's get to the swatches. Uh, I think for these swatches, I did two fingers in white polish and two fingers in black polish just for consistency. I think uh, one I actually wore over like a current manicure, so that's why that's a little bit different. Um, the first polish is called Belief in Yourself, and this is matte and hollow green glitters with multicolored treads and reflective glitter. And this is one coat over white or black. There's plenty of glitter in here. You can, of course, move the kind of look like the little green like flowers where you want them. The formulation of this is really nice. It's not too thick with glitter, but you're getting enough glitter on your brush and on your nails. I love a shaped glitter. It's just so fun for me. And of course, I love green. So this was one that I had uh, on my list for a while and I was like, yeah. I want to get this. <laughs> uh, so that's one coat of Belief in Yourself over white and black. The next polish is called I Am Who I Am. <laughs> I Yam Who I Am. And this is multicolor, multi-size matte and hollow glitters with multicolored shreds and a sprinkle of reflective glitter. This is kind of similar to the Belief in Yourself, but it's the red version. These are also a uh, a duo. I think I purchased them as a duo. I don't remember. It doesn't matter. You can purchase them individually, but I think they were originally released as a duo. So it's like the red version and the green version. And, and they have the same formula. Very easy to work with. You're getting plenty of glitter. Um, the bigger glitters, you always have to fish a little bit, but uh, they're easily accessible. You don't have to spend a lot of time digging for them. They're easily accessible and they are just so fun. I just love, I just love shape glitters so much. So that's one coat of I am who I am. The next polish is called Magic in the Hat and this is from her Peppermint Soiree collection. This was her holiday collection and this is a topper that has five different color reflective glitters plus iridescent micro glitters for a lit within look. I mean I think we know how I feel about reflective glitter. If you don't know I love reflective glitter and I'm also loving that we're getting smaller particles of reflective glitter or there's less texture involved with the reflective glitters. Mm. And uh, a multicolored reflective glitter. This looks so pretty. It looks beautiful without flash reflective. It looks like a shimmery, like crystally, you know, topper. It's beautiful. But then when you put the flash on it and you see all of the different colors, I was so excited for this. I saw another brand recently release one of these and I said, man, I hope other brands start doing this because I really want one, but I didn't really want to like place an order from that brand. No malicious intent, just 
didn't really want to get into it, you know? There is a little bit of texture still because it is a reflective, but the texture particles are much smaller and um, it's not, I feel like reflective glitters at first were like chunky almost. This is a very mild, I don't want to say sandy because that still sounds very textured, but it's a very, very mild texture. You'll still need top coat, of course, but it's not as textured as reflectives have been. We're, we're getting smaller. People are working how to use them. One coat of magic in the hat. The next polish is called Spruce Willis, and this is also from the Peppermint Soiree Collection. This is uh, Green Holographic Trees, which I don't know that I've ever seen tree glitters. Have I ever seen tree glitters? I don't know. I can't think of them. I, maybe I have. Three different types and sizes of micro hollow glitter and silver hollow for extra bling. I wore this over Zoya's Vixen, so it's a very like deep like black cherry almost looks black cream color but i think it looked awesome over that plenty of trees in the polish you don't have to you know dig for them and you can, but you can easily place them where you would like them it's a christmas tree topper it's perfect it's one coat of spruce bliss over zoya vixen And then the last polish I purchased is called Tinsel Toes, also from the Peppermint Soiree Collection. This is extremely unique wavy glitters in two colors, gold and silver, plus a silver hollow and gold micro shreds. I have not seen a lot of these wavy glitters, but I've never seen a silver one. I haven't really looked, but you know, I haven't seen it come across my feed. So I love the idea of a silver and gold wavy glitter. Oh my gosh, that's so fun. I wore one coat of this over What's a Beauty Drippy Days, and I loved, I loved the silver and gold over the light gray. But of course, this will look great over so many different things. When I'm editing this, I'm probably gonna be like, you really should have moved out of the sun, but I just, I can't. There's my phone. I don't care. I need to be in the sun. I need to be in the sun. Look how much happier this side of my face is already. Beautiful formula, very easy to apply in one coat, one coat of tinsel toes. There are a lot of fun glitter shapes on the Forget Me Not website. There's one, I've got to find it, hold on. She has a family tradition one, which I almost bought, but I was, I was trying to spend a certain amount and I like kind of hit my cap, but I really like family tradition. That's a multi-shaped color glitter. What? Uh, there's one called Shaker, which is a really cool black flaky topper, like a, like salt and pepper. It's like a hollow and black topper. Oh wait, I didn't actually, I don't know why I actually saw it. That one looks really cool. But there's one that, let's say it was called Vampire's Kiss, or I feel like it was something about vampires because it was blood droplet shapes. I've never seen droplets of blood shaped glitter. And I almost bought it because it was so weird, but then I thought, well, I don't know how often I would wear that because I don't really care about vampires. But anyway, really impressed with the formula of these. I am not that surprised because I know how much Agata loves toppers and like I said before her combinations are always so fun and she'll do multiple toppers over a bit like she's just really creative at that and I have purchased multiple pol polishes because of her and now I'm purchasing from her brand so I'm going to leave the link for her brand in the description box so this is a new to me and also So this was a new to me and also Black Friday purchase video all in one. But if you've tried any from Forget Me Not Lacquer, let me know. Um, and be sure to uh, check out the website. And it looks like there's primarily um, her holiday collection on there right now. And then the, the fall duo. But can't wait to see what else she has to release. Maybe she can find some bunny glitters for me because I can't find bunny glitters anywhere. And I don't want bunnies bunny shaped glitter to put in a nail polish I want it already in the nail polish this, is this too much to ask it must be so Agata 
If you've got some bunny shaped glitters, like just, just send me an invoice for that nail polish because I'm gonna need it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and let me know your favorite polish. I will talk to you in my next video.